Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another extremely useful mod that you should just download right now and give it a whirl yourself. But this is conveyor diagrams which will do nothing on the actual screen itself until I press a very specific button. What's going to happen now is all the steel blocks are going to go completely transparent and then all the functional blocks, all the other blocks, are going to become semi-transparent so you can see exactly what's going on on the internals of your ship. So we've got a bunch of different colours going on here, which I will go through in just a moment. But as you can see, all the important stuff connected onto the good old albatross is now being clearly displayed without me needing to remove any steel blocks or any blocks in general. I can see exactly what's going on with my thrusters, how they're all being connected up, how they're all linked towards the back of the ship and go towards the hydrogen tanks. And I can see if there's any issues going on with the ship, they'll need to be repaired up or sorted out. So before we go through that any further, it's time to go through some of the controls you need to know how to make this thing work, and well there's only really two of these that you have to worry about. So once you've added the mod in through the mod menu, all you've got to do now is load up your world, press enter to bring up chat, and you've got to do slash cd, which is shorthand for conveyor diagrams, space, and you're going to type in x-ray, this is all listed on the Steam Workshop page, but doing so will enable and disable the mod, so for whatever reason if you're having performance problems, you can easily turn it off when you don't need it, or you can just have it turned on, and there you go, the HUD turned on, we can see we've got now a heads up display saying it's been enabled and we're all ready to go. I'll go do that one more time, say where it's been disabled and it's been enabled once again. So once that's all done you can then use the standard key bind which is going to be left shift which will then make everything disappear but if you want to have a different key binding I put this on to B because it seems a lot easier and doesn't take over any other key binds that I'm currently using. Yeah I'll come into this once again press slash CD then we're going to go to key bind. You did see a flick right there because I do have a band B and had to type with it Yes, once we've done that, slash dd keybind, we can now press enter, and now we've got this thing on our screen where it says press any key. I'm going to press B, and now the keybind has been set to B, so every time I press it, it's now going to enable. Now it's just simply allow me to run around, and now actually press shift, press B, and do all the stuff I need to do. But yes, what about all of this gobbledygook around the screen? So what we've got are different colours to display different things. So for functional blocks such as thrusters, turrets, car containers, refineries, assemblies, and all of that, they'll be displayed in blue, so you can see exactly what's going on with them, and of course it will display all the different connection points on them, if they do have multiple connection points on them, such as large hydrogen thrusters, which have got five of them, four on each side, one on the back, which you can clearly see down there, we've got one, two, three, four, and then five down the bottom. For the green, these are your conveyors, where we can see these star shapes, which are going to be for your junctions, then straight lines and whatnot, the actual straight conveyors, in fact that's a fantastic example up there, so we see the blues for the thrusters connected onto a conveyor, they then star across over the straights, and just go up and all the way around. Now if we come around towards the back of this thing, we can actually get a more clearer view at what's going on with all this. So at the very back of this thing, this is the engineering bay of the good old albatross. We've got hydrogen thrusters, we've got hydrogen tanks, O2 heat generators, assemblies, refineries, and all of that. So pressing B in here, we see the massive hodgepodge of all the different lines. I'll just hide the HUDs like that and redo it like so. We're going to get blinded by the sun, not too much I can do about that, in fact that wasn't the sun, that was a beacon. Yes, looking around here, I can see I've got myself a large hydrogen tank right here, I can see all the connection points on there, I can see where it's connected up, so it comes across onto a straight conveyor, all the way over to there to another hydrogen tank, that links across to this hydrogen tank, all the way across, now I've eventually come around towards the very back of this thing, I've got myself a large hydrogen thruster, where it's connected just straight onto the middle, by a conveyor junction, which I can see right behind this basic assembler, so undoing that, there is right there, there's a connection point right behind it, then you can see all the other connection points which are currently not in use, which is going onto this large hydrogen thruster. Assembly what it looks like, and you can easy spot this any kind of problems, just as this red one down here. So this is a conveyor junction that I purposely damaged for the sake of this video, where I just went at it with a machine gun, but as you can see it's all been displayed in red. So if I to undo that, I can't see anything going on, I can't actually tell anything is damaged until I try to move stuff through that conveyor. Pressing again, I can see exactly where it is, I can see exactly how to get to it to repair it up without needing to do any kind of unnecessary disassembling to be able to reach it. So once that's all repaired up, that will turn green like one right next to it and all be fully functional. But then what about if you were to say make a silly mistake with connecting everything up? So all the way over to here, what I've got is a conveyor junction comes all the way down onto a curved conveyor, which is not attached onto anything. Below that, we've got another conveyor junction that will eventually lead all the way down to some bottom hydrogen thrusters. But as you can see, it's not connected up. So the way I can tell this is not connected up from a distance, is that it doesn't have a little diamond, it doesn't have a little square thing on the end of it, 
saying it's actually connected up to anything. So as you see us look all the way around the room, we've got all these lines coming out everywhere. They also have those little squares on the end. So right here I can see the blue, little diamond on the end, little diamond on the end. I can see how it's all being connected up, apart from this one down here, which is going out to nowhere because nothing's connected up to it. But as you can see, it's behind some steel blocks, which I purposely put in the way, just ignore the gap down there. I can see that that is the problem. That is why those hydrogen thrusters are not working. I can easily just remove those steel blocks, replace that with a straight, because nothing else is connecting up to it. Down there is a module. There's nothing on the front. There's nothing on the back. Nothing on the right. So that means I do not have to put another junction in here. I can clearly see that this has to be a simple straight all the way down for that junction onto that one to be able to go all the way down to them. Just makes it very handy, very easy to see any kind of small mistakes you made. Perhaps you stayed up too late trying to make a complicated design and now something's not working. This makes it super easy to see what's going on. Though you do have to position yourself to make sure it's not too much of a jumble, like looking into the distance right there. And that's all this mod basically does. It's just an extremely handy thing to see behind all of your steel blocks. Like, I can't see anything going on here. It all looks perfectly tip-top shape. If I press B, see it down there. Just walk across to this, come to the opposite side, just going along like so. It does become a bit of a problem, so there might be an edge there. I might fall out of the ship and go floating away, so you can always change the transparency effect of the steel blocks if you want to. That's a little control that you can see on the Steam Workshop page. But as it stands by default, this works extremely well with showing all the internals of your ship, of your base, and what's going on with it. But as for that, there's only one more thing to go through, which is the conveyor sorters, which do also show up on this diagram when you activate it. But I'm going to have to actually set that up myself, because this ship does not have any sorters on there, or at least I couldn't find any sorters. So I'm going to go put this down like so, turn around so it's actually facing me like that. I'm going to put some conveyors all the way across it. So there we go, go put a curved one in there. Then go put a car container in front of it. There we go. Put some more conveyors all the way around. That'll do quite nicely to go remove that light. There we go, it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Now I'm going to press B. Now you can see the conveyor sorter has got an arrow on it, saying that all the stuff from this direction is going to come across into the sorter, and then all the way around to that cargo container. So if you have a big mining ship, in fact I can actually do that in just a moment, just give me a second. And here we are on the test of V, a gigantic mining ship that we've been to do a showcase on for quite some time. But yes, back in the first person view, and then pressing B, as you can see, it's going to take quite some time to actually pop in due to it being a massive structure. In fact, this is a better example of how this mod actually works and how helpful it is. If I was to look all the way down, I can then see some conveyor sources down there, show me the directions they're going, and where they're going to be going off to. So I can see there one of them is a mistake, which I did deliberately myself. So I can see all the stuff's going to come through there and towards the front, but they need to be coming down and towards the back of that to get to the car containers at the bottom of this ship. So I can easily rectify that, I can go down there, beeline towards it, without me needing to tear up any unnecessary blocks, and without me needing to remember where I actually put the sorters, I can just go down there, fix it all up, and away I go. Yes, looking all the way up there, I can see absolutely everything going on, I can see the conveyors above me, I can see where they're going at the back of the ship, how they're linking all the way down across towards the front where all the drill heads are, and of course I can see all the little bits and pieces that are currently attached onto some steel blocks, which are completely separate from the rest of the ship. But yes, as for that, that's pretty much it for all this mod has to offer. It's a bloody fantastic thing to have in your world. I just highly recommend downloading it, having it in your world, whether you're going to use it or not. It's simply a handy thing to have if you have made a small mistake and say you were overtired when you built your ship, put a steel block where you needed to have a conveyor junction and all of that. And yes, you just simply press your keybind wherever you set it to and away you go with everything going on with it. So there'll be a link to the description below to should download it and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you to do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.